Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michaloski from FullRxLive.com. Today's date is October 16, 2023. I'm going to take a technical look at the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. This is the four-hour chart. Remember, for the longest time, we were looking at this box right here as an area where the price need to get to and through in order to increase the bullish bias. Admittedly, the price moved above that level here, and uh, we moved above it back through here. Uh, and uh, But in trading last week, the price uh, moved back above it again, and this time the uh, price moved up uh, to, to and through this high price right here. Uh, but it could not get below, above this high price nor above this blue line. This blue line represents the 100-day moving average. This swing area encompassed uh, different swing high, uh, lows going back to here, 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 and uh, here. And uh, once again uh, here uh, before uh, reaching the high yet uh, last week and uh, falling off back into this uh, old red box and where do we go we went to the low of the red box right through here uh, near the 0 0.58798 level on Friday before rebounding back to the upside in trading here today we're seeing more sideways action but moving a little bit lower in the most uh, recent hourly bar bar before bouncing back to the upside uh, we still remain below the 100 and 200 bar moving averages on the four hour chart they come in at 0 0.5939 and 0 0.5959. On, uh, in trading last week, the price did move below those moving averages, tilting the bias more to the downside until the Friday close before we got the rebound back higher in trading here today. Let's uh, take a uh, uh, shorter-term look at the uh, hourly chart and see what that is telling us. And you can see the ups and downs in the price action here. This is the swing area, how we've held against the 100-day uh, moving average. I guess that was on Wednesday and rotated back to the downside Falling below the 100 hour moving average, that's the blue line in this chart. And then below the 200 hour moving average, it's a green line in this chart. Chart, uh, if I were to put a uh, Fibonacci retracement of the move down from this high, uh, the high from last week down to the low price that we saw in trading here today, or on Friday, I should say, uh, 38.2 comes in at 0.5948. Still a long way to go before we head up, uh, head up toward that level. That would be the minimum retracement level so i would say although the price is higher in trading here today the the buyers are um just reacting to this swing area down here uh but uh, they have work to do uh they need to get back above the 38.2 percent retracement at the 0 0.5948 to show that they uh, really mean business uh to the upside after last week's sharp to uh sharp decline uh toward the end of the week so um you know you characterize the market as a uh, uh, up uh, moving to the upside in trading here today, but lots of work to do uh, to prove that uh, their uh, buyers are more in control. Alternatively, a move back below the 0 0.5894 to 0 0.58798 level would increase the bearish bias and have traders looking more to the downside in the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. So there you have it, a technical look at that uh, currency pair. My name is Greg Michaloski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.